All right, hello, welcome back. My name is Ryan Anglin. I'm with Vision Data and Communication Services, and today we're going to be talking about uh, turning a Visio map into an Excel sheet. Okay, so generally, um, you don't, you may or may not have to do this, uh, depending on how we proceed um, with our future projects. Um, but it's always good to know how to do it in case uh, it is asked for by the SSC. So what we're going to do um, when we're uh, changing to an Excel sheet and what we're doing in general is we're just taking all of that data that you captured all right, from a map, from a visual point and putting it to something that's easier to understand um, in terms of putting it into a list, basically an Excel sheet. That way it's easy to find and read exactly what everything is. Okay, And that helps the SSC with the design and helps us kind of visualize um, everything that's needed for the deployment. Okay, um, so uh, how are we going to do this? We're going to get on Visio, okay, and we're going to select all of the shapes, all of the data captures that we captured. And to do that, we're going to left click at the top of the map, and we want to capture everything that we put on this map. All right, so we'll left click, and we can even capture the notes or the titles for each department. That's okay. Okay, so we'll select everything like this, make sure all of our data captures are there. You don't want to capture the symbol legend or anything like that. You just want to capture all of your uh, your phones that you uh, that you assessed. All right. So everything's selected, and again, everything's highlighted in blue. Um, and it's hard to see, but it is highlighted in blue. But we have our circles on outlining everything. Okay. So it's selected, and we're going to go to the top of the menu and click Review, and then Shape Reports. All right, so this pop-up, this uh, reports pop-up came up, and we're going to click on Assessment Data, and then we're going to click on Run, okay? And this is going to run a, a report, and in the next pop-up, it's going to ask us what kind of uh, format do we want this in, but we're taking all of this data, and we're running an, a report with it, okay? So let's click Run, and again, it's asking us for the format, and we want an Excel sheet. You can do an HTML or Visio where you don't ever do that. Um, so just, just click on Excel and then click OK. And it's going to generate the report in a couple seconds. And boom, it's here. So this is all the data that we captured. And each row is a different box. All right, so we got, uh, this is the map location. OK, so make sure you change that in your Excel sheets. And we'll make this look a little more appealing. Let's uh, open this up. All right. So we got map location 33, which is the Dr. Wyas's office. And if you go in Visio and we look for map location 33, which is, let's zoom in here, which is all the way over here in the corner. And if we do data, shape data, uh, it is map location 33. And it's Dr. Wyas's office, so that is correct, right? So each map location, each row, tells us all the information about that that data capture. So what room, it, the room number, or the location, and the uh, the extension, uh, the recommended replacement, any notes about that, uh, network drop, analog, uh, BG port needed, the jack ID, the port type needed. All right, all that information we captured is now in a list and more cohesive, understandable format. All right, so again, some changes you need to make to your Excel sheet is the map location. So we had displayed text there, and we changed that to map location. The master name, or the master location, all right, and we'll make this a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Okay, and again, I'm just clicking on the edge of that box, and I'm moving it over the edge of the column. And the master location is uh, Broadway Clinic in this sense, right? So this is the Broadway Clinic map. That's what we're calling it. But for example, if this wasn't Broadway Clinic, if it was uh, First Floor Section 1, all right, all of these would be on First Floor Section 1. So we would name one of them First Floor Section 1, like that. All right, and what you can do also is copy this and select all these boxes. And every data capture is on that map. It's on first floor section one. So we're going to 
copy what we wrote there, first floor section one, we already copied that, and we're going to paste it. All right, and I usually just control C and then select a whole bunch of boxes. All right, and then control V, and boom, it's there. Okay, so that names all the master location of each data capture on first floor section one. And we'll make this look a bit more pretty. Um, one thing to note too is that it, it captured the uh, department title that we put in, that text box. So we can go ahead and delete that by selecting the row, right-clicking, and then delete. Okay, so select your row, right-click on the number three. In, ca in this case, it's row three. Right-click there, and then delete, and boom, it's gone. I bet it captured pediatrics. Yeah, it captured the pediatrics box also. So we'll right-click on that, and delete. Boom, it's gone. So now all we have are the map locations, all the data captures we captured, and all the information associated with that. Okay, and that is all you really need to do. Um, all you really need to do uh, to change a Visio into an Excel sheet. Okay, one thing to note also is uh, sometimes in the Jack ID section, it changes the Jack ID to a date for some reason. So you do you do need to go back to Visio and figure out what the Jack ID was and change that to the respective Jack ID. So. In this case, this one is says January 27th, which is probably wrong. So if we go to 25, Dr. Dr. Weiss's hallway phone. Uh, let's go back here. 25 is over here, and the Jack ID is 127. So that's why it said January 27th. Okay, so we'll try to change this to 127. Oh, and it's turned, it stayed the same. So we're going to change the text type. And we're just going to use a number. All right, and then change this to 1 27. Hmm, interesting. How about general, no specific format, 1 27? Maybe it just needs to be a text. All right, so let's put it as a text. There we go. So it stayed the same. Okay, so if you do find that some of these are like dates, um, just uh, click on the box, change it from custom or general all the way down to text, and then input the Jack ID there to, to change that. Something a little nitpicky, you know, uh, not, not very fun. And uh, we're working on fixing that, you know, for the future, but you may have to do it your, uh, yourself when you're making these. Okay, so that is, in a nutshell, how you turn a Visio map Okay, into an Excel sheet. All right, and that wraps it up for uh, how to Visio. Okay, so we went over uh, creating boxes, inputting data, reworking boxes, and adding notes, how to number boxes, and finally turning um, a Visio map into an Excel sheet. In the next, we'll probably have two more videos. Okay, and the first one will be uh, assessment guidelines. Okay, so what you're supposed to do when you arrive on site. You know, who are you supposed to talk to? What are you supposed to say? What questions are you supposed to ask during an assessment? And um, our last video will probably be some different tips and tricks, uh, things not to do while you're on an assessment as well. Okay, so thank you for joining me on this one, on this fantastic journey of how learning how to use Visio, And I will see you in the next one.